Екінші кезеңе, үшінші кезеңе өту кезінде натюрмортын алдымыз отырған қойлымның нақты бізге керегі. While transferring from one stage to another, we try to show light shining upon the setting in front of the still life. We have to show the slanting shadows, namely the shadows falling from a dish upon the other, from one object to another one. This is our task for the day. This is an episode of a drawing class at the Kaskilin College of Culture in the suburb of Almaty. The teacher of drawing is Isatai Kanatoli, and he says that all future work comes from a sketch, namely from drawing of a picture. So every master of decorative applied arts, whether it be wood, sculpture, or other kinds of art, is an artist first of all. If we make a workpiece, its outer look and its changing transformation is done through drawing. I teach all of this drawing with artificial light, as a pen on white paper. Particularly, students do it with colored paints in the class of art painting. First of all, they have to learn to draw well, before they learn to draw and match colors, to draw the outer shape and the changing transformations at a high level. The Kaskilin College of Culture was founded in 1954 in the former Taldi Kurgan Oblast of the village of Lepsi. Under the order of the Ministry of Education of the Kazakh Commonwealth of Soviet Republics in 1967, it moved to Kaskilin and was named the Cultural Specialized School. And later in 1995, it was renamed as the Kaskilian College of Culture. Non-resident youth contribute a lot to the development of Kazakhstan's traditional mastery in the Kaskilian College of Culture. Here there are a lot of youth coming not only from remote parts of the Kazakhstan region, but also from Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and the People's Republic of China, as well as Mongolia. These youngsters come from the villages, and so far, they do not know the customs and traditions very well. So they learn a lot of new things here, and they return to their village and teach what they have learned to a younger generation. As for foreign students, they introduce us with things which were not developed or have been forgotten in our country. So we also learn a lot of things from them as well. Handicraft is a Kazakh precious heritage. The future masters of felting, shigras, mat weaving, knitting, all embroidery, needlework, and embroidered works are all done here. We can also see embroidered felt mat quilting and tapestry arts are all studied here. Mastering our national heritage starts with studying its deep history. Then the qualified professionals teach successors of the national heritage to use traditional and advanced technologies in making various wares in detail. Today, the teacher of specialized subjects, Bal Nur Aogan Bai, is teaching the students to quilt embroidered felt mats and weave shigrass mats. Students take felt art, embroidered felt mat quilting, all embroidery, carpet weaving as their diploma work. First of all, we teach the students to use technology in making these things. For example, quilting embroidered felt mats in the Kazakhstan traditional art form. The embroidered felt mat is a foot cloth, which is a kind of quilted item. First, we draw the pattern to be embroidered on the felt mat on paper. We embroider it with ornaments and we edge it. Here we mainly use shints and velvet fabrics. First we quilt and embroidered felt mats to put ornaments on them. It is not difficult to make. Any student can learn how to make it. Another item to be mentioned is weaving the shigras mats. First we need some shigras. Here we use the colored threads and the woolen items. 
Және тағы да айтып кететін бүйім түрі мұнда ши орау. Ши орау ең алдымен бізге ши ғажет болады. Шиді жасау үшін арқау жып, түрі түсті жіптер, жүн бүйімдарын пайдалансақ болады. Research of the national traditional technologies, which were handed down as a heritage from our grandfathers to our grandchildren, is developed well. For instance, the workshop of decorating and processing materials widely uses this national traditional technology in making the current modern items. Young masters combine the knowledge of their grandparents, which they learned while living in the village, and the knowledge that they got here, they connect to the old and the new in making their individual works. In this classroom, students mainly learn the traditional technologies in making embroidery, including all-pile embroidery, decorative all-embroidery, simple all-embroidery, quilting embroidery, and felt mats weaving carpets as well as making large felt mats with ornaments. Currently, we are engaging in the new technology to make larger felt mats. Our innovation is that we do not have to vapor the large mats to create works anymore. We embroider the main finished felt surface with any pattern and we put them together with a needle using new technology. Кеметтің жаңа түрі жетелден шығарып алып келген, біз сол жетелден қарып, осы... It is a new type of the large felt mat. This technology has been borrowed from abroad. Here we use colored wool. We felt the wool on the surface of the finished felt using a special needle. We felt it in this way. It is not difficult at all. It becomes a picture. As we know, the wall large felt carpet called the Tuskiz was widely used to keep the yurt warm and decorated in the old Kazakh household life. Obviously, these walls have large felt carpets made by needlework master Aisulu and Rawan, giving special beauty to the modern interior and embellishing it. These wall felt carpets preserve their traditional colors, and they are embroidered using bugle beads, regular beads, and coral strings. There are different ornament kinds of embroidery. I have chosen the picturesque embroidery. It needs colored threads. First of all, we prepare a pattern. Then we cross-stitch on it. Here I depict nature. Here in the big workshop, future masters learn thoroughly how to make Kazakh national items of wood, metal, and leather. The horse harness, the national musical instruments, and the various household items you see here have been made by these young men. In the beginning, we started with the young people. We started with the young people, 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 the young we start teaching with easy things, like doing poker pictures on wooden surfaces and planning wood. The simplest ornament patterns on wood are called carving ornaments. You carve wood on either side with a knife. Then we teach geometric ornaments, so that students can learn to explore textures and the nature of wood. For example, if you sharpen a pencil, you cannot do it in the opposite direction, which is why students learn to feel the wood. Afterwards, we proceed to inlay ornaments. Here we remove the first layer of the board and make an embossing item. Then we teach them how to make rounded shapes. After that we make household items such as chests, the wooden chest for food and cutlery, kebeje, the mortar and pestle as well as a tray. Then we teach young children to make instruments in detail. When the youth hear the sounds of the musical instruments which they have created, they come to love art even more. Ja 
қаншама дүние жасалынған осының барлығы қошеді оқып жатқан балалардың өзеңбегі. Plenty of items have been made here, and all of them have been created by the students. The qualified professionals such as Arnur, Askar Oli, Lizat, Latkazi, Balnur Apai accustom students to making handicrafts and share their precious knowledge with them. We have to mention the important thing here, that before making handicrafts works, first you have to learn how to draw a pattern. Istai Kanatoli teaches the art of drawing here, gives the root. If one can draw a picture, you will be able to make handicraft items well. Before carving any ornament, you have to draw it. Even if you make an instrument, you have to draw. I have chosen this speciality because I want to make Kazakh handicrafts and national musical instruments well known abroad. Our college orchestra plays dumbras that I have made with my hands. I do not want to stop at this level, but to polish my mastery and enrich my knowledge, to explore and develop the dumbra. I strongly believe that Korman Ghazi's orchestra will play the dumbras that are made by me. I also want to make my dumbras famous overseas. College orchestra plays dumbras mostly made by college students. The quality and beauty of the instruments are flawless. The orchestra is looking forward to instruments with special sound and beauty made by these young masters in the future. Баллар Кундюльты, Савак Парсенда, Бургуна, Ланда Бим, Джасаев, Бургуна. If the youth do not explore the heritage left from their ancestors, we cannot show it abroad. Every day in class, students take an interest in working with wood one day and with leather the next day. We also try to engage them. We explore. It is a time of advanced technology now. There is the internet. We research the works of foreign and local Kazakhstani masters and follow them. Of course, while making items, we must remember about our national technologies and style. We can't just imitate and spoil it, which is why we tell our students about the Kazakh ornaments and the color peculiarities in this class. <laughs> The Kazakh handicraft is a traditional national part of decorative applied art. The Kazakh handicraft has deep historical roots and preserved interconnections of traditions, moral content and cultural value. Therefore, our precious cultural heritage, which has been handed down from generation to generation, is in the hands of the youth. <laughs>